my friends. Welcome back to the bench. Today, uh, it's a look back at a paint mixer that I reviewed during one of my uh, tools and tips uh, multi-product uh, videos that I do every so often. And uh, it's this Vortex Stirra Turbo paint mixer. And the reason why I'm coming back to it is because I've never shown it since because it has become almost impossible to get uh, pretty much domestically here in the U.S. I think I got it on, I think it was AliExpress, and uh, it wasn't cheap in the shipping. It was like 100 bucks. Uh, but I do like this thing, and I use it uh, behind the scenes quite often, along with my other two favorite um, paint mixers. I'm going to grab the camera here for one second so you guys can see. The Typhoon. Back up here. I use that one every day, more than all my other ones. And this one, this 4Es, this one's heavy too. 4Es. That's what it actually called. It's 4Es. And I use this one uh, quite a bit also. Probably in second place. And then this one uh, I use as an unintended. I'll show you in a second. Um, and those are my three mixes I use. This one was 100 bucks. The other one, the Typhoon's about 100 bucks. This one is 100 bucks. And uh, I don't like to show products that much money for such a um, single-use type of item. But I use these every single day. And I started out with cheap ones. And they broke till I went up to the Typhoon, the 4Es, and uh, this Vortex. And these run good. Again, 100 bucks, But I use it every single day. Now, this one has its place... Um, and that is you can run it unattended. You don't have to hold the paint on it. That's the feature of it. And you can have a variable speed. I will show you that now. So I did show this, you know, six months, maybe almost a year ago. And uh, I haven't shown it since because it was such a pain to get. I, I feel bad. I don't like to show products that are uh, impossible to get. But it's now available in America on Amazon. I got a notice that it was finally there. And there's a bunch of them. I'll put a link below. Um, if you guys want one, uh, I think there's a ten dollar coupon. It's making it ninety five bucks, which is what the four E's cost. So uh, there's that, and there's also payments of seventeen a month for six months, seventeen bucks, and uh, you can get it that way. So any either way, if you really want one, you can now get one. Now it operates with a USB cable, which I already have hooked up, so I don't want to go. Uh, Go nuts hooking that up, but here's your manual. And here is the unit. Let me get the box out of the way. And there it is. It's got suction cups on the bottom, quite a few of them. Um, I don't think it'll stick to the... Well, I guess it will. Uh, I originally put a piece of glass down, I think, when I did the first test. Um, but a silicone mat seems like it will hold. And there is the uh, front power activate minimum, maximum... It actually has an off. You'll have the click, so you don't have to worry about it running. And the only other I'll put in here is the, uh, to plug it in. That looks like a USB. Is that a C? A USB mini? So that's the same one that's in my Galaxy phone, my new one. And here is the grip. It's very strong. Ow. And it will hold spray cans. I am going to show you that. And, um, yeah, so let's get started and go through a few of these and... Uh, that's all. Just want to reintroduce you to the product because, like I said, it's now available uh, in the U.S. So let me go ahead and go for my new paint there from Splash. All right. So we'll sink that down. Okay, we're going to start it up with nothing in it. And there you go. That's the slowest it can go. And then from here, we'll dial it up. Now it's going really rapid fire here, but you can't tell on the screen because <laughs> uh, the frame rate slows it down. But this thing is shaking like mad. All right. So let's go ahead and I'll show you all the things that'll fit. Let's put in my brand new Mecha Empire. What is this? Orange copper. Here we go. Now you can hear the uh, ball bearing that's inside that comes with all my paints. I could really sock this up. That's it. And it is blended. You can see the paint waving right there. Fully blended. 
All right, let's go with another of mine. I'm going to show you an awkward size. This is a square bottle from my Mecha Empire Copper Fire. So we're going to open this a little wider. And, well, first of all, I'll show you how separated it is. Pigment all settles to the bottom, like most of my paints here. And I'm going to go in the middle on this one. I'm going to hold it down. I don't know how good it's going to, uh, the silicone's going to hold it. I guess it's going to hold it. But it's it, if you put on a piece of glass or a tabletop, it sinks right in with those uh, extra suction cups completely blended. That beautiful color. So, we can go all different sizes. We're going to go ahead with a little of Vallejo, or Vallejo, however you guys say it. And here's what I mean by you can walk away. Now, if I'm prepping at my booth, and I'm getting an airbrush ready, getting the uh, air compressor started, I can let it sit on the tended. I don't have to hold it down. Hold on. Like if I'm using a 4 E's, I have to hold my hand down to activate it. And uh, that really is the main draw of this unit. And um, it is quite quiet, and it can hold all kinds of paints, which is a really big bonus. So we'll stop it there. In, in the, actually, in the picture, this is blended perfectly. Look at that. In the picture, it shows the, some of the guys holding the paint this way. And uh, if you want to hold it in the traditional sense of this way, flip it over, you could do that too. But it defeats the purpose of the unit being, you know, no handed, no uh, hands free, we'll say. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and look at some of these. This is E7. I just got a case of E7 paints in. That's all separated. You can tell right there. It's been sitting there a while. Oh, man. Now, some paint, you might have to kick it in. This is a really thick paint, so uh, I will let this run for a minute, get get your stuff done, come back. It'll be blended. You could probably flip it over if you want. Look at that. It's that beautiful pastel blue. All blended. Let's see if it'll hold an awkward size jar. This is a square jar of Tamiya enamel. Also, a little square jar of testers. Holds it just fine. Let's see if it'll hold it upside down, if it gets enough of a grip. Let's see. Yeah, it's in there pretty good. Yep. Again, if this is stu sunk down on like a nice Formica or a glass top, it doesn't move at all. So yeah, it'll hold the little square jars. How they both happen to be uh, blue there. All right, this is completely separated. This is SMS. It's separated like my uh, my copper fire paint. So let's go ahead and put that in. Oh. It's almost like the paint mixer at the hardware store. Guess that's where they get the idea from. Blended. Perfect. Oh, let's try something different here. This is Dispay. Now, this is a really thick paint. Can you see how thick that is? That is thick. Let's see if it'll work with that. Let's go in the red zone. Look at that baby spinning. Oh, let's see if it, oh, it worked. Look at that. Check that out. I have a friend who swears by this mixer. Hobby Mio, nice tall jar. Let's see if that will affect the way it works. Uh, a little bit, a little, a little shaky there because it's taller. I guess you got to hold this one down. Yep, it's coming out, right? It looked like it was coming out. Well, you got to find your, your zone. You know, you can't go too fast on some of them, I'm guessing. Because of uh, the shape of the jar, if it's really tall, it's going to have more 
momentum getting itself out. Actually, I don't think this needs that much shaking anyway. It's done. It was done anyway. Perfect. All right, we did that. This is the fat size of Gaia. This is their prism blue black. Holds it fine. Let's try and go with some uh, unique ones here. Well, this ain't too unique, but it should hold the uh, holds the Mister Color really good. So that's good for Mister Color, the Aqueous, the Tamiya. Should hold all of those no problem. So about Steinol Res Primer. This is out because I'm working with somebody on my Patreon channel about Steinol Res. So I'm going to experiment with that for him. You hear me, Mister Orr? Yeah, it'll hold that up. All right, let's go with something really different. How about this giant bottle of custom creative lava red? I don't know if it's going to hold this. Oh, wait, it will. Look at this. The problem is when you go with these giant sizes, you, you have to hold it down. I guess I could leave it like this. I'll end up shaking the whole house down. But it shook it up anyway. It's all set. Wow. All right. Knocking over my Vallejo here. Spray cans. Let's see if we can get a spray can in here. Check that out. I think the best way to do a spray can actually is upside down. I can have you can have a ball, the ball bearing going around the edge. <laughs> so obviously it will fit this but this might be a little too tall also like the other one again you know with just a little stirring will be fine I can leave it alone like this while I'm getting everything prepped while I'm getting spoons prepped if I'm going to be priming a bunch of spoons uh, what's this back here oh wicked colors here we go Createx Let's see. yeah it's just like the Stano Res jar Yep, it's got a bearing in it also. How about Inspire Square Jar? Actually, it looks like mine. A little larger than that. Yep, that's fine. All right, let's go with Buster's Custom Colors. Uh, review is coming up, my friend. I didn't forget about you. I got a lot of stuff going on, but... The test of this is coming up so we can see it's separated. It's an olive green. All right? Let's go ahead and put this in. Oh, it fits really good. That thing got blended right before our eyes. <laughs> Look at that. How about this giant size of Sun and Seven? What is this? Primer? Yeah, this is their semi gloss primer, right? Basic color? Ready? There we go. Oh, that is a big jar. Yep, it hold that one all right. Again, you want to go hands free. You can't go that fast unless it's a tinier, smaller jar like this. Oh, blended it up. Gets the job done. This is my Mecha Empire enamels. You can see it's separated there. What color is that? Vermilion Neon. How about my uh, Mecha Empire panel liners? This is my acrylic neon black light panel liners. This is an awkward sized shaped jar, but it should really grip that good. You can hear the ball bearing in that one going. It's kind of a pattern to it. Can you see it? It's not just this vortex shape. It seems like it's on some kind of a shaking pattern. Mix that up good. Look at that. All right, we know it fits all them. How about this new super-sized jar of Mr. Color Silver? Oh, that's a big jar. I'm dancing around, but it's, it's it doesn't sit really good because this is kind of porous. But 
and mix it up. How about the huge jar of uh, Gaia, the EX line? I cranked it up, see if it goes flying. No, I, no, it looks like it, it stood well. It stood in there pretty good. Mixed. So, uh, what is this? This is my polished alloy, which is out of stock everywhere. I'm trying to get it in. But you can hear the ball bearing in there, which comes in handy. Yep, that mixed up. Mr. Paint, MRP. That's completely separated. Let's see what this will do. Let's try and keep it on low and see if it does anything here. I can see it mixing up already. This will eventually go at this low speed, as I said. You leave it on low, and get, your, get what you're doing done in the room, and come back and you should be ready to go, you know. Oh boy, A stand, what is this? You can see the color is separated on this. It's gonna hold this one really good. Yep, as I figured. Not many more mysteries here. I mean, it'll hold just about anything. Odin Khan. It likes these glass round ones for sure. What this uh, Chroma Air? Let's try that. Nope, it's up. Ochre. Okra. Look at that. Blend it up. Nice. It has a little bit of trouble with these taller ones. You can't go as fast. Seems like they jiggle their way out. Like I said, if you leave it on a low, it kind of has a shake to it. I think that's why it mixes so well. I'm figuring. Oh, this has a ball bearing in it. I can hear it. Didn't move, though. It held it in. Yeah, held that one in pretty good. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, what more can we say about a paint mixer? Uh, I do like this product. I use it behind the scenes a lot, but I didn't show it because it was so hard to get. And believe me, it's not cheap at 95 bucks with the $10 coupon. But you will find yourself using it. If you're using a product this good every day, I think it's worth what you want to, uh, to get out of it. You know, it really is. Hold on, let's try the spastics. There we go. Oh. Bouncing around, but it's not really moving. If you want to crank it up, you hold it down for a sec. Give it the old jiggle. Ready to go. I don't know why I wanted to try that can, but I did. Um, yeah, so that is it. That is, uh, that's the unit. You can leave it powered on all the time. You'll see power here. And, but at least you can turn it off. And um, I guess it's the blue zone, yellow, and red. And it really gets going. So, yeah, that is it. That's the test, guys. I wanted to show it to you. And uh, to let you know, it is finally available in America. Uh, I will put a link below to the Amazon page. I mean, it's not cheap. And it's one of those products that I search for a lower price. And evidently, this is the price of this unit. You know, if you go to buy an Xbox or a PlayStation, they're like $4.99. Because that's the price of an Xbox and a PlayStation. Evidently, that's the price for this thing. And, and that is it. I hope somebody makes one that... Brings the price down a little bit, but uh, I don't know, man. This is Corporate Itole Corporation, Tokyo, Japan. But yeah, that's it. All right. Oh, we lost somebody in the back here. And um, yeah, that's all. That is it. I wanted to come back and uh, show you the guys um, a product that is now available in America. And the reason why is because. Um, the reason why I never showed it is that was the single reason. And before I go, I want to show you a quick spoon here of something I'm working on. These are some of uh, the metal colors I am working on for the new Mecha Empire lineup. This is uh, <clears throat> magnesium. All right. And that's it over a different color base. So really excited to show uh, these new colors. I'll go over them when they come in, which will be pretty soon. This is dark gold. 
This is a uh, pale brass. So this is a copper. So I'm not going to go. Uh, this is the gold over white. Check that out. So we won't uh, reveal too much more. We're going to have silver. We're going to have uh, aluminum. We're going to have regular gold. And I'm going to add two more colors to the uh, anodized uh, metal colors. We're going to add a, an orange and a yellow, a bright orange and a bright yellow. Those will be coming also with the uh, release of the metal, metal colors. So be on the lookout for that. And I want to thank you guys so much uh, for purchasing my paints. They've sold really well because of you guys. I want to thank you. And we'll be announcing a winner in a day or two of uh, that big package with the perfect grade and, the, uh, and my Swallowtail airbrush. I also have some news coming very soon on a new airbrush. I will be releasing um, traditional style, pen style airbrush to go along with the Swallowtail. And I'm very excited to uh, show that to you guys. And I'm also developing an acrylic line of paint. So be on the lookout for everything. I have a lot of news coming going into the uh, spring and summer weather. Very excited on our way to our climb up to 100 thousand subscribers that being said please subscribe if you haven't already uh, click that notification bell and give us a thumb up it always helps the channel you guys are the best god bless you all have a great rest of your week i have another video coming very soon maybe even tomorrow and i'm uh, putting that together as we speak i just wanted to throw this together right away so you guys know that this product is now available in the u.s link below anyway guys have a wonderful rest of your day we will see you in the next video